Hello and welcome back to SketchUp Assist. In this video, we're going to wrap up our simple kitchen design. So let's get started. Uh, last time we left off, we had uh, installed our countertops and our kitchen sink. Prior to that, we had installed the uh, cabinet, finalized the cabinet layout. And so we just have a few little odds and ends to, to wrap up here today. We'll start with the floor. So let's come in and select the floor. Let's go into Entity Info. Uh, we'll go into uh, Tile. And we're just going to grab... Um, an option here so we'll get some flooring in there we go okay um, now that we have the flooring in let's go grab a, a refrigerator so let's launch the 3d warehouse search for refrigerator and we'll grab this first one Seems reasonable. So SketchUp is going to ask if we want to load it directly into the model. Yes, we do. And there we go. Now let's come in here and move this around a little bit. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to hit the right arrow key after I go into move mode. Right arrow key, lock it on red. We're going to pull that over a little bit. And then we'll come around to the back side. We'll hit the left arrow key in move mode. Select that back. And we look pretty good on height. So I think we can leave that there. Okay. So now things are starting to come together. Our design. Uh, we had a window here. So let's come in and, and add our window. And I'm just going to come in. About six inches from each side of the cabinets. And there we go. We'll come up a few inches off of the base, maybe eight. And then we'll run our line across, across the top here even with the top of our cabinets. I'm going to go into rectangle mode here now, and I'm just going to pull down to that line. I'm going to clean that up. Now, obviously, you can kind of put this window whatever dimensions you'd like. And then we're going to go into offset. Let's just come in and maybe put a two-inch frame around that. Now, we won't go elaborate on this. Again, this is just a kind of get the point across. So we're going to just do a couple of dividers in here. Midpoint. And then we'll do the same here. And here. And we're just going to leave thin bezels. Once again, we can come in, go into the entity info, and then select glass. in there. Now we could spend some more time and make these bezels wider, uh, but uh, we just want to get the rough effect here. Again, this is supposed to be a very simple, efficient, uh, sort of quick, quick design. Now you could also use some plugins to create those windows. Uh, the last thing we're going to do here is simply come in and put a little valence across uh, the, the top. And notice in the lower right, as I drag down the first number is my height. So I'm simply going to come in and make this uh, four inches comma and hit enter. And it's going to create that for me. And then I could just come to the back side here. I'll go ahead and make this a group just in case we want to alter it in the future. And then I'm going to extrude it out three, three quarters of an inch. There we go. Okay. Okay, so this looks a little boring. Um, so we're going to come in here and, and add a little contour to this. So we're going to select a two-point arc. Now notice we've selected our, our group. And I grab those two points. And we're going to come up about 1.5. And then I'm going to go into push-pull mode and get rid of that uh, little section. Click out. There we go. Okay. 
So that's it. Uh, that's the quick, simple kitchen design. Uh, if you found this useful, uh, please subscribe. Um, we'd love to hear from you as well. So leave a comment if you have some thoughts. Thank you.